I was sophomore in high school when I got sick. And at the end of like the third month of continuous vomiting, and I'm like, this is not just sick, this is something else. Early on in the process, rumination syndrome was mentioned, but not really as a conclusive, this is what you have, more so as just a rough idea of what it could be. I didn't have a hard diagnosis for several years. I think the medical doctors often didn't necessarily believe how sick we were saying he was. At this point in time, Albert's still vomiting round the clock, day to night, every meal, food and liquid. There was a definite toll taken on the entire family. Two and a half years of hospital after hospital after hospital, hospital, and no results, and I was wasting away every single day. We keep being told this medicine will work, this treatment will work, this surgery will work, but they don't. Albert's quality of life is suffering. As parents with a sick child, you start grasping at any straw. I did research to see if there was other treatment programs for rumination syndrome. My mother found through Facebook, the Nationwide Children's Hospital. And this hospital has a whole program dedicated to it. These patients come from all over the country. One of the things that we really like about this program is that it's a multidisciplinary program. There are many people that come to the table with different approaches and different ideas. And remember, every single patient with rumination uh, syndrome is different. That's why we try to individualize the care. We are, live in Illinois, Nationwide's in Ohio. So once we got to Nationwide Children's Hospital, immediately they confirmed the diagnosis. Absolutely, this is rumination syndrome. They explained to me that rumination syndrome is like a muscle spasm. It's like a twitch, it's like a tick. It's in your abs and it's triggered when you swallow. It's just all this extra muscle contraction that's out of control, that's emptying his system. But he can train his body to ignore that and keep his food down. And they started working with breathing techniques and ways to keep my nervous system calmed down. And that's when I actually started being able to ingest quantities of food like a normal person. It was amazing just seeing Albert going from so horribly ill to able to eat and swallow and not vomit. One of the things that really makes you want to do what you do on a day in, day out is when you see outcomes uh, that are very encouraging and we will continue to provide that kind of care. Going into Nationwide, I had absolutely no expectations or hopes whatsoever for it because of just the number of things I had tried and done that had no results at all. After the first day there, I didn't throw up the rest of the time I was there because I just followed their steps and it worked. Two and a half years of misery and then you know, fixed in less than two weeks. He's got a really, really full, active life again. He's busy in the ways that every young adult is and that you, as a parent, you want them to be.